We also had the NWA 73 show, which included a new NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch, won the title. And afterwards, uh, Nick Aldis, by the way, champion for, uh, what was it? Th- Forever. Three years. I mean, Forever he, he, he won the title from Cody. That was years ago. Uh, yeah. October 21, 2018, he won yeah, the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And uh, afterwards, Ric Flair came out to uh, congratulate him on his win. Yeah, Rick cut a promo. All he talked about was Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Vince McMahon and how much he loved them all. And the crowd was very perplexed. It um, sounds just, perplexing. Yeah, I mean, they were... Um, you know, independent crowds are not looking to cheer for. I mean, I, I'm sure they would. They wouldn't mind cheering Shawn Michaels, and some of them might not even mind cheering Triple H. But you know, when he kept saying, "I love Vince McMahon," well, he didn't keep saying it, but he said it. They were definitely not. Um, they were perplexed. But I mean, he does, and he just explained that uh, he deserves to be able to work wherever he wants. So that's what he's doing. So um, he wasn't in the chorus hand room era. But he did do wrestling at the Chase from the uh, late seventies through eighty, whenever it was that that wrestling at the Chase um, at at actually at the Chase because the show wrestling the show name wrestling at the Chase in St. Louis continued on with WWE called its show wrestling at the Chase that was superstars of wrestling in every other city because the name wrestling at the Chase was so strong so the name wrestling at the Chase probably went through about eighty nine or eighty eight before they changed the name um, probably about the time when maybe when KPLR finally canceled it because the ratings had declined so much. Or maybe when WWE just felt that, uh, you know, it's not, it hasn't been from the chase in years, so why are we calling it this? But, um... So the Flair speech and the congratulation of Murdoch were two different things. The Flair speech was in the middle of the show. Okay. Yes. And then yeah. after, after the main event, he came out and congratulated Murdoch. At yeah. which point he did not talk about Triple H, Ric Flair, and Vince McMahon. Yeah. I mean, you know, Murdoch said he was going to retire if he lost, so they built it up for that. And Aldis has been champion for a long time, so it's probably the right time. Obviously, as far as a long-term champion, um, I can't see Murdoch in that role, although I don't know that it even matters at this point because they're going to do what they're going to do no matter who the champion is. But, um, I mean, Aldis obviously carried himself great as champion. Um, Murdoch is a very different uh, type, you know, and it meant perhaps for short term you can do it, but... I would see this as something where, you know, Aldis should regain it fairly soon. What did you hear about the women's show? I mean, the report on our front page uh, praised it. A lot of good wrestling. I didn't get a chance to see it. But uh, I just know that the report that we had on our front page said it was a lot of good matches on the show. Yeah. And the only stuff I really heard from friends that did watch was, uh, like they said, basically... I think maybe, you know, one or two things were bad. Most of the stuff was good. Nothing was blow away, um, you know, but it was a fun show to watch. And I'm sure it was a fun show to watch. And they, um, I forgot what the number was. They were essentially like like 12 tickets shy of a sellout. So it's close, not bad. Uh, today's show was a sellout. But, you know, it's it's 846 tickets. So it's, you know, but still, you know, I mean, that's. That's not too bad, you know, for modern wrestling at, at, to do that for, um, you know, that, that level of a show in St. Louis on two straight nights. That's fine. And they're doing two more nights there. And, and you know, with, with uh, they will not draw those numbers the next two nights to, to do uh, a bunch of TV out of St. Louis. I mean, they got some pub in the local market, you know, the return of wrestling at the chase and everything like that. Um, I don't think they had everyone in suits and ties like they did at the old wrestling at the chase, but that's another issue. So the big thing on the show was a segment where Gail Kim came out, and she was interrupted by Taryn Terrell, Paola Blaze, and Genocide. And they were about to beat up Gail Kim when Awesome Kong came out, and she destroyed the heels, left him laying, and then cut a promo and just said that she'd had a rough year, and the only thing that got her out here to the show was because Gail Kim was there. She said Gail was her greatest opponent. She loved her, and there was no other way she wanted to end her career than being in the ring with Gail. And she retired. And apparently it got over huge. 
Uh, cool moment. So that's the end of Awesome Kong. Yeah. I mean, well, it was pretty obvious when, uh, you know, that that she was being, uh, she was someone that was signed originally by AEW. And then, I mean, she basically then did the, uh, you know, uh, a glow show. And then the glow show ended. But, I mean, her back has been messed up for years and years and years. And, uh, you know, it pretty much ended. You know, she hasn't really wrestled much in a long, long time. So, um, you know, I kind of thought she was retired already, but maybe she had never said it. But it was, I mean, she, you know, she hadn't wrestled in such a long time. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.